Listen, man, I ain't even going to sugarcoat it. You want to know which insurance company it is that pays for a home health care, unskilled home health care guide? Medicaid, baby. Medicaid. But guess what? Highmark or AmeriHealth, you all the way in. Now, listen, if you with me, hashtag live. If you here with me in the rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. All right. How's everybody doing today? Now, look, if you do not know who I am, my name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home health care guy. You know what I mean? Now, today, what I wanted to do, I just wanted to pick the best question that I had. Like, this is like the question of the week. Everybody always call me and ask me the same thing. What insurance do I need? We already know it's Medicaid. It's real easy. It's simple. AmeriHealth or Highmark. That's all you need and you win. All right? So, look, what do we do? We are a Medicaid uh, uh, service provider. You know, we do all activities of daily living for these big insurance companies. So what I want to do is I want to hire you because you're already taking care of your loved ones to do what you've been doing and put the paycheck in your pocket. How's that sound? All right, that's really great. I'm glad that you're with me. I'm glad that you're with me. I just wanted to get that over now that I broke the ice. I'm going to answer one real question for you and then we're going to get into it. Who is it that we help over here? We help financially frustrated family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program so nobody has to struggle. So listen, once again, I'm going to just break it down to you. If you got Highmark or if you got AmeriHealth. Now, what's so special about Highmark or AmeriHealth? Those are the only two insurances that you can have if you have Medicaid, you know, because Medicaid, what they do is they set you up. They got like a little two, three-step process, all right? Now, the first process is to get into Medicaid. Now, listen, I'm just telling you, but you already know because you're here with me now. So to get into Medicaid, what is it? They, you got to do a, a financial um, financial sheet. You know, you got to qualify financially. Once they get you in, they found out that, hey, you meet the financial requirements, you in. Next what they want to do is they want to get a comprehensive medical report from your doctor. Now, all that is, that's just your doctor saying, yo, this guy or this, this, this lady, she got the condition that you that I say she has or that she says she has and that she really could benefit from this program. All right. Now, the third thing that they do, they call you up or they, they tell you, come on, it's COVID time right now. So they'll probably tell you, come on down. You know what I mean? Like price is right. Come on down. I'm sorry. They're going to tell you, don't come down. Look. The new variant is out, IHU or something like that. Like, yeah, IHU is out and it's heavy. Don't come down. We're going to do this thing virtually, all right? So they're going to say, look here, Mr. Church. We're going to talk to you and, uh, you know, figure out do you qualify. They're going to ask you the same questions. They're going to ask you, uh, what's the doctor talking about? They said, this is your diagnosis. You're going to say true. They're going to say, hey, uh, we, we we saw your W-2s last year and, and they said you make this. Um, is that right? You're going to say Yes. Then they're going to say, uh, how would you feel about this Medicaid? You're going to say, listen, I need me a long-term health care aid, a non-skilled person to come to my house and take care of my activities of daily living. And KC told me that uh, this is the best thing for me. So, look, I love it. And they're going to say, bam, check, you in, you in, you in, you in. And then what they're going to do, they're going to give you a choice between AmeriHealth or Highmark. You know, I mean, usually people get a choice, but if you don't, they both, both the insurance companies are really cool and uh, they both doing the same thing. And that just means you in, you know, now, once you get through that spot, what you don't want to do is leave it up to choice. Trust me. Now, this is the number one thing. If I don't say nothing else that you heard today, this is the number one thing. Do not leave it to chance the company that they stick you with, because it's a lot of Bobo companies out here in if, the, if your case manager sticks you with a bobo company, you stuck, all right? Now, you're not stuck like Chuck up the up the creek with no paddle, but, you know what I mean, it's going to take a real company like Reliable Aid to come save you, you know what I mean? Once they stick you with the wrong company, man, you know how it go, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's like downhill. So what you want to do is you want to say, look, I want to be with Reliable Aid from the gate, you know what I'm saying? Listen, if you're here with me live, hashtag live, throw me some hearts. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, Hashtag rebroadcast. Throw, throw me some hearts. You know what I mean? And then look, depending on, you know, if you're watching this, listening to this, doing whatever you're doing, make sure that, you know, you like, subscribe. You know what I mean? You want to be on here with every day with me live. You know what I mean? You want to get this good information that I'm disseminating to the public. You feel me? <laughs> KC got big words too. You know what I mean? Listen, that's what it is, man. So, once you uh, once you get into Medicaid, they're going to give you two choices. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Grant, how you doing today? They're going to give you two choices, and then 
uh, you know, you're going to make your insurance choice. And then right after that, like, let's say it happened for you today. What they'll do, it'll probably take you at least till the beginning of the month to get into the program. So what they're going to do is by the first, I'm going to say since it's already January 1st, by February 1st, they'll have you writing a program. But by that time, I'll be done hired your nephew, your little cousin, your brother, whoever it is that you have assigned to be a caregiver. By that time, I'll be done hired them. I'll be done fingerprinted them. I'll be done got their two-part TB test done, their physical, everything. So when the uh, when the people give me the uh, the authorization to get paid... I'm going to have your peoples getting paid, you know? Ain't no fun if my friends can't get none. And I'm going to tell you what's something even more special that I believe in. Listen, if I've been working all week, I deserve to get paid like right now. You know what I'm saying? They got a lot of bobo companies that they be hooking people up with. They can't even get them started in the first couple weeks, let alone by the first of the month. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, what are y'all doing? This thing is so simple, man. Listen, people come to me all the time. Uh, a guy got out the hospital last week. I got him on this week. You know what I mean? Uh, the first was the other day. He on, he rocking. It's really not even up to me. It's, it's, it's the skill of the case manager. Now, some case managers, they really don't care. They don't got a lot of skill. I don't really know what it is. They may need a little help. All you got to do is call me. Yo, call me. Let me know. I'm on a case manager back. Like, listen, my people's called me. They requested these services and they need to, they need to get this ASAP because, uh, you know, this is what's going to help them move forward in life. And they need that. You know what I mean? So, listen, if you think moving forward in life, you know, is a good thing, man. Hashtag good thing. Hashtag where you at, man. Hey, yo, where you at right now, man? I mean, I'm seeing these hearts, these likes, these this love. Where you at right now? Hashtag the city, the hashtag the state. Let me know what's going on in your area. If you got a, uh, if you got a super question for the big hearted caregiver while we on here, man, text it to me. Don't call me because it's going to break up my Facebook feed. But if you text me, see, y'all don't even realize when I be reaching my hand up, that's people texting me and they be like, look, this is what I want to ask you about. So don't be ashamed. Other people asking me a million questions. They just scared to get on a live with me. All right. So look, all you got to do is text me, reach out to me. I'm going to drop the number on you right now. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Now look, I had this class. It was a... Uh, I want to say it was math class. You know what I mean? I went to William Penn. You know what I mean? That was like the biggest school in Delaware. So, uh, was it math or science class? I had this teacher named Mr. K. Now, if you with me and you went to high school with me, let me know. But he had an office across the hall from the elevator. And he used to say, I used to ask a question. He'll say something like, look, I'm going to give you this number, write it down. Then he'll say it. And then I say, I raise my hand and I'll be like, what was that again? And he'll say, look, I'm going to say it one more time for the slow people. <laughs> Yo, he used to bust me, but guess what? My pen wasn't that fast, and I really was kind of slow. So if you like me, man, you need to know it one more time. 302-689-3240. Don't be afraid to call me, man. Text me. Don't call me while I'm on the air, man. Y'all call me enough as it is. But don't be afraid to text me while I'm on the air, man, because, you know, I don't know. Maybe you're... Uh, Maybe your little fingers ain't working through the uh, through this live and you don't want to put your questions in a comment. I don't know. But look, I'm down for you, baby. I'm going to answer anything you need, man. Listen, like and share this. Definitely share this because I know for a fact you got a cousin that need this information. You know what I mean? I talked to you last month and you told me that, yo, my cousin's going through this situation with his mom and he, they don't know how they're going to make it. This their way right here, man. Listen. The gravy train is floating, man. It's, it's, it's rolling. It's coming down the track. All you need to do is jump on, man. This is reliable aid. This is not that other company who they keep saying, oh, yeah, we're going to set you up with them. And now all your grandmama do is she got to manage the hours. She got to manage the attendance. She got to manage this. She got to manage that. Now, listen, my pop ain't got time for all that. He eating breakfast right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop his butt off at dialysis, you know what I mean? Keep it moving. If he had time to do all that, it'd be a whole different situation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, don't let, the, don't let the people play you. You need a company that got your back 100%. If they got your back 100%, you win. If not, I don't know where you're going to be. You know what I mean? And you, you the caregiver, you've been doing your job for a long time, man. It's time to get paid, you know? In another five minutes, your back will be slow dragging with your stomach. And then, you know, it's, that's a that's a hurtful situation, man. I don't think you're looking for that. You know what I mean? Nobody wants their back and their stomach, stomach to be slow dragging. Trust me. Trust me. So, listen. Today is uh, today is hump day. They call it Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? 
Listen, today your mission is to get your case manager to call KC. Listen, we need to be down with the right team. Call this dude, let him know. Now, if you the kind of person you don't really like bothering people, a lot of people just call me because I love to make phone calls. See, I love to talk to people. You know what I mean? So if you got somebody you need me to talk to, call me, man. Call me. I ain't got no problems being your representative. I can do all the jibber-jabber for you. I can handle all your business. I just can't call without your permission. But if you call me, all my needs your name and your date of birth, and I'm going to tell your case manager, listen here, they want to come to Reliable League. You feel me? It's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> Yo, I love you, man. Don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that you're doing the wrong thing, man. We're doing this to get our blessings. That's the only reason why we look out for other people. You know what I'm saying? Plus, you're going to get old one day and you're going to want somebody to look out for you. You feel me? So, you know, one hand, wash the other hand. Two hands, wash the face. All right? I love you, man. 302-689-3240. Look, text me, call me, jump in the DM. Do what you got to do, man. But put that paycheck in your pocket, man. All right? Ain't no fun unless my friends can get some. And all my friends is on here right now, all three of y'all. <laughs> Look, I love you, man. I got to get out of here. One love. Peace.